Amish man sentenced to six years in prison. That's right. Six years in prison for not seeking FDA approval. And there's a nice little uh, graphic there. FDA. Yep. And you notice it's the FDA drug companies. They're in bed. And next to the FDA and the drug companies. Well, look at that. It's a patient in a coffin. That. That seems about right. So this is from The Daily Sheeple. By the way, I really recommend The Daily Sheeple. I love The Daily Sheeple. I go there all the time. TheDailySheeple.com. I know a couple of people that write for Daily Sheeple, and those people are awesome too. So according to the government, the Amish man broke the law by growing, processing, and bringing to market his... Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Break yourselves. I don't want to scare anyone. His own herbal supplements. <laughs> That's right. His own herbal supplements. Man made his own sir herbal supplements, and he did not get permission from the crown. That's right. He did not seek permission from the crown, so the crown was not pleased. So U.S. News reported that Giraud manufactured salves and skin treatments, one of which the FDA claims could be harmful to the skin. Oh, well, everything could be harmful to the skin. I don't know what that means. I just threw that out there. Everything could be harmful to the skin. He also claimed one extract could 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 help. Oh, uh, well, I, okay, I cut off here. Let me see. Let me see if I got it down here. Uh, he also claimed one extract could help cure cancer which the FDA disputed. You know, if if it can't cure cancer and he's selling it, eventually people are going to figure it out and stop buying it. See, you know, the market will, will I won't say with 100% certainty, but in general, the market will weed out the, the, the shucksters. So in 2013, Garan ignored orders from the FDA. What a boss. He ignored the orders to stop selling his product. Good, good for him. So we get down here to uh, what Gerard wrote. I do not waive my immunity to this court, uh, said Gerard, who represented himself during the trial. I do not consent, he added, emphasizing the fact that he, according to his face, he doesn't recognize the authority of the court, only that of his higher power. Uh, Judge Reeves uh, then uh, probably didn't like that. Sends him to six years in prison. They created a felon today out of a good law-abiding abiding citizen, said Arizona Sheriff and civil rights activist Richard Mack. Mack, along with another, uh, another group of supporters, said, this is a national disgrace and outrage. No, it's just state on state faces being state on state faces. This is what they do, man. This is normal. It really is. He is being punished for being stubborn. No, he's being punished for being defiant. That's the key. You can be stubborn, but if you're not being defiant of the state, that's okay. But if you're defying the state, they had to make an example out of him. He wasn't afraid of them, and they made an example out of him. So it continues here because he steadfastly refused uh, to, uh, well, let's see. Trump, uh, Max stated he'll be uh, pressing Trump to issue Gerard a part, Gerard a pardon. That ain't going to happen. Trump is not going to issue this guy uh, a pardon. And uh, Judge Reeves uh, uh, said uh, uh, the Kentucky farmer brought all the trouble on himself, quote, because he steadfastly refused to follow the law. My laws, little gods, my little gods that I have written on paper. And remarking on the uh, se remarking on the severity of the sentence for selling simple plant-based remedies, Michael Fox, who served as a standby attorney for Gerard, pointed out Friday that the punishment for this individual will be harsher than it would be for others. There have been cases where people have raped small children and got less of a sentence than this guy got. In some instances, people have raped children and gotten probation. So there you have it, folks. You, 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 the, the, the biggest thing, there's a lot of things that you can do crime-wise, and maybe you won't get stiff penalties. But one thing you cannot do, you cannot do something that absolutely serves as an example to others of how you can openly, blatantly defy my laws. You, you, you don't. You don't want to open up that can of worms because if you do, 
they're going to come with guns and uh, you're going to either be dead or you're going to be in a cage like this guy. I, I, I don't know if this guy knew what he was gotten into, getting into with this. I, I, I hope he did. And if he didn't, I can't say I'm surprised at the ending. And I can't say that I'm really at all surprised that this is what happens in the state of our state face line because this is what happens, folks.